Good morning, West Valley. My name is Lily Little John here to bring you your morning announcements. Today, April 27th, the Wolfpack Cafe is serving spicy or regu regular chicken tenders with a roll. Tony's cheese or pepperoni pizza or ham and cheese on a roll with or without Doritos. Side items consist of mashed potatoes with or without gravy, sweet green peas, Caesar salad, or veggie nibbles. There will be no more D&D &D club for the remainder of the year. Have you been wanting to learn about 3D printing? Join Nate in the library on Monday afternoons from 3.30 to 5 or Friday mornings from 7.30 to 8.15. He will show you everything you need to know about printing your 3D design. Did you know today, April 27th, is National Babe Ruth Day when, when baseball fans from all around the world honor the iconic Babe, Babe Ruth? Now to a segment of Seth Head to the Story. This week's book is Diary of a Wimpy Kid Part 2, starting off on Book 7, The Third Wheel. This book was a big ouch for me because I realized how hurt Greg got because of how a mean girl rejected him and how accurate it really was. So, 1 out of 5 for the unwanted dose of reality. Book 8, Hard Luck. This one was boring because it, all it talked about was middle school and drama and how to deal with it. 0 out of 5. Book 9, Long Haul. This one disappointed me because it was very unrealistic and very cringy to read and make be angry that many Manny got a pig. Negative one out of five. Book ten, old school. I hate how much Greg hates going old school. It's not like he's going back to the fifteen hundreds or anything, just no screens for a few days. But it does make me think about what we would speak about if we didn't have the internet. One half out of five. One and a half out of five. Book eleven, double down. Why is Greg so obsessed with becoming famous? He's just like everyone else trying to make a movie. Unsuccessful. One out of five. Book twelve, the getaway. Greg thinks he has it so hard living in a family with two other siblings. At least he has his own room. And also, ever, ever read Cheaper by the Dozen, Greg? Evidently not. Zero out of five. But that's just my side of the story. Part two. Thank you, Sophie. The mission of the West Valley Middle School community is to inspire students to be resourceful and respectful citizens while providing a challenging and safe learning environment. Have a great day, West Valley.